Hello everybody, and because it is storming where I live, and because of that, my internet decides it doesn't want to doesn't want to be alive. Um, my previous take on this recording stopped midway through, so we're we're gonna do it again. Here's the new 2020 Audi TT RS. So uh, here's the engine bay, you guys just seen the trunk, now looking at the interior. Got some nice Alcantara bits on the steering wheel and the seats and the shifter. I don't know, that's just the glare over here on the seat, the seats look leather. Some nice carbon fiber bits on the center console. One thing that I did notice last time I recorded this was that the other TT, I don't know if you guys can see it because depending on what you're watching on, your screen might be really small, but I have the uh, upgraded like Audi, so like the RS front end on this, and it looks exactly the same as the stock front end on here, except for the little canards. Can I, can I, ah. There we go. Same side skirts. It's pretty similar wing on there. So yeah. And on top of that, the the body style of the two cars. Because this one's a 2018, this one's a 2020. The only one, even this one, the TTS Coupe from 2015. Look like the same body style like this one's obviously different you can tell it's older the grill is different the headlights are a little different but the body lines are about the same the trunk line looks a little different but these two same grill just this one's black same body lines same headlights all the same and so essentially the conclusion I came to after quote-unquote finishing recording the last take when it went out halfway through is that these two are the same car just this one's got a black badge but one thing before you leave the one thing I did notice was that the two drive pretty differently. I'll be getting with the colors as we typically do. The colors we're getting the upgrades. I'm kind of stock in this blue color. I really liked this green and just white, black, and gray. So for engine swaps. You have the 1.4 liter inline four, which I believe is a Toyota engine. And you have the racing 3.0 liter inline six turbo, which is the 2JZ. So you get two Toyota swaps with the 2020 Audi uh, TTRS. And for the Aero, it's straight up Forza Aero. Looking absolutely egregious, like a horrible, outrageous. The, the hood pins, I mean, they're kind of pointless to put on there, to be honest. And the rear bumper is just a tow hook. I, when I first clicked on it, you guys should have heard my reaction earlier. I got so excited when I seen all these different things. And then the disappointment that went over my face when... I realized that it was literally nothing. So pretty much uh, standard procedure for new cars. We're just going to go through, throw on some random parts. And yeah. I reset everything to default so you guys can see the different options and everything. I left the stock engine in here. 
for transmissions. You got the race transmission, which is seven speeds. This thing's a seven speed by default. And you get the six, the eight, the nine, the ten, and the drift transmission, which is a four speed. Race drive line. Race differential. Wait, why am I saying the part names? What am I doing right now? It's not Cameron Builds or like literally any other series. We're doing new cars. I don't have to say the part names. Because I'm just throwing random stuff on. I'm not really building anything in particular. So that's what we do with the new car videos for uh, those of you who are new here. And I, I'm normally not this irritated, I'll say. I'm probably definitely like this monotone maybe not even I'm still pretty monotone but not as much as right now because I'm pretty pissed that I am having to record this two times because my internet just did not want to be live <laughs> during the storm I said no thank you I'm checking out for today but on the other hand We were able to get an Audi TT to S2 without an engine swap, which is pretty cool. So the thing from earlier drives pretty good on a stock tune, but the one thing I do want to do here is adjust the brakes because if you guys don't really tweak the brakes, the car is going to take corners really wide. And adjusting them like gives you... I don't know how to explain it, but in, either, anyway, you can take corners a little more like a, a shallow angle. So pretty much what we're going to do here is we're going to do a few laps around the Horizon Mexico circuit. Just to... For you guys to... What I want is you guys to pay attention to like how the car handles. There's definitely going to be some user errors. I do them. I make them a lot. I might break a little late, take the corner wide, whatever. Just pay attention to how the car accelerates, how it handles, stuff like that. So, because my other TT is a drift car. I could probably adjust the tire pressure too, to be honest, to get some better acceleration and grip, but for now it's whatever. But because my other... See guys, that's what happens when you underbrake and then try to overcompensate, and the car doesn't turn. Yeah, this thing sounds pretty good though, I'll give it that. Yeah, see guys, I make user errors quite a bit. I... You guys should have seen me on the last take, because I didn't adjust the brakes yet. Until like, I was already two laps in, so I was just like hitting all kinds of stuff. So I guess it's kind of a blessing in disguise. That I didn't look completely stupid. Yeah, anyway, uh, I forget where it was. Something about my other TT. My other TT is a drift car. My 2018 is a drift car, so this one... Because it's handling fairly nice, I might make it a track car. Or... That 1.6 liter is typically pretty good in rally cars, so I could make a rally car. Or... Throw in the 2J and freaking mind boggle everyone at the drag strip. Now it's raining in game, so, uh. Might have to figure something out there. Yeah, I'm already starting to lose grip a little bit.
I'm trying to get another lap in after this before it gets too wet. But even though like I'm disappointed that this car doesn't really get any customization, I am seeing some potential in it, given that uh Damn. Yeah, it's rain. Um I don't know if I'm going to be able to get another lap in, to be honest with you guys. I'm not really going to be able to do anything too crazy while it's raining in game. So I might have just have to cut it off here. Or just, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up some of my final thoughts here. And smaller cars like this, like the TT, like the 8.6, like, I don't know. Let's take a gander here. Stuff like the TT, the 86, the Fiat 131. Like little cars. If I go to my favorites, it's probably a bunch of them. Let's see, TT, Civic CRX, Civic Type R, Miata. Can't go wrong with the Miata. Miata is good for everything. Miata is always the answer. Um, 8.6, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I probably have like 4 more that aren't favorited. MR2. Like all of these smaller cars, you could do some crazy stuff with them. Volkswagen Golf is another good one. You could do some crazy stuff with them, for sure. They're definitely fun to mess around with. So, I mean, I would say that this car is worth picking up if you're newer to the game or if you're a collector but if you're not really too interested in it uh, might not be worth it for you to be honest because it's cool in its own right but if you're if you don't really feel like grinding out for it there's always the other TT that's in the auto show that, am I able to see how much that is on here Yeah, this thing is 75,000. So, I mean, if you don't feel like grinding for the 2020, you could always just buy the 2018. And really, it's not even that much of a grind. Look at what I did. I literally did the weekly Forza Thon Challenge, the trial, and the collectibles. And then the rival events that easy 20 points it's easy when you're only getting the first car on the playlist because you already have the others but next week I, I hate Mustangs I really do they're my mortal enemy but I do kind of like that I don't know if that's a that's not a Terminator it's oh did the Terminator have the horse with the snake on it I don't know if it was a Cobra or if it was a Mustang I guess we won't know until we actually are able to unlock that, whether it's the Terminator or just the regular Mustang. I mean, like, so, some of you guys probably already know if you watch the Forza streams, but uh, I don't have time to do that. I'm a busy person. So overall, I'd give this thing, like, 7 out of 10. Like, it's okay. Maybe a 6.5. Like, it's okay. It's cool. It's known, right? But it's nothing insane. But with that being said, let's let's do some donuts, shall we? It's probably not gonna be easy in this rain, but Yeah, let's see if we could just kinda vortex it here. That being said, uh, 
or with that being done, I guess, this probably won't be the last time you see this car on here. If I decide to do something crazy with it, it turns out cool. And uh, with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and hope to see you in the next one. It's all for me today.